Okay, this is Mark NB8I, and uh, I just wanted to show you uh, how I've progressed here with the uh, SDR uh, IF stage software um, and uh, my Yezu FT950 integration project, and it's going real well. Uh, thank God. Anyway, um, to make a long story short, uh, uh, yesterday I got this piece of software up and running and integrated correctly. Uh, the Power SDR IF stage. Uh, that's actually made by uh, a gentleman named by uh, a call sign, uh, Whiskey Uniform 2 X Ray, uh, WU 2 X. And uh, you can go to his website, WU 2 X.com, and take a look at it up close and get all the info. Uh, but the bottom line is, is that this particular piece of software is the same software that the Flex Radios use. Um, and uh, he's actually added some modifications to it. And it's open source software. And uh, to make a long story short, um, he, it enables the, uh, uh, with the proper cards, which is the IF2000 card, which is inside the radio, uh, it takes the place of the DMU2000 card that's supposed to be in there. Uh, and that integrates with uh, this device called the LP Pan. Uh, the LP Pan is uh, made by a gentleman, uh, uh, November 8th, uh, Lima Papa. Uh, and he has a company called telepostinc.com, T-E-L-E-P-O-S-T-I-N-C.com. Uh, he manufactures this device, which is called the LP Pan. Uh, the LP Pan integrates to a computer-based system uh, based through the uh, sound card. Uh, so they have a higher-end sound card, which is an M-Audio Firewire Solo, that uh, the LP Pan integrates into and uh, transmits an audio source to here via firewire and to the computer. Uh, the software integrates with the, uh, the uh, um, a signal coming from the sound card and you get a great pan adapter. And uh, also you get uh, some limited uh, rig control. Uh, you don't get much, tra you don't get any transmit um, uh, features obviously, but you get uh, a second VFO uh, within the range that you have here. So in other words, I could listen on, uh, 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 I can listen to a second frequency within this range, which is about 96K. Um, the, the width of the range that you can actually see and uh, 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 view at the same time is basically limited by your sound card. Uh, you're permitted to go up to 192 kilohertz or so. I mean, it's not exact, but it's pretty close. Uh, if you had a 192 kilohertz sound card, uh, you could have a, a ballpark about 192k view on this range. A little less, but about that. Uh, currently, I have a 96 kilohertz uh, range on my pan adapter, and uh, as you can see, um, it's actually pretty cool. So, getting that up and running, uh, there was one more little benefit: uh, a piece of software that. Uh, 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 NHLP offers, and it's actually freeware. In fact, the Power SDR IF stage is also freeware, uh, as free as Ham Radio Deluxe is. And the beauty of all this is, is that with a um, uh, in, uh, another piece of software called the uh, the LPB2, which is the LP Bridge 2 version, and also the LP Bridge. Uh, depending on what radio you have, since I have a FT950, I have to use the LP Bridge 2, uh, or LBB2 as he calls it. Uh, same gentleman that makes the uh, LP pan, Larry, uh, N8LP, uh, offers this as a piece of freeware. What this enables you to do is, uh, it frees up your COM ports, or creates virtual COM ports is more importantly the thing, and uh, allows me to use Ham Radio Deluxe, and uh, N1MM and a few and up to a few more logging programs or other applications that integrate with the radio uh, at the same time. So in other words, it's like what this allows me to do is I can use uh, Ham Radio Deluxe for more extensive rate control. Uh, I can use a Power SDR uh, to um, uh, have my pan adapter and rate control. And it also allows um, N1MM logging program to uh, track. Uh, the movement of uh, the VFO uh, on any one of any one of these three devices which includes the hardware so for example uh, I'll just basically go down to I don't know 71 uh, 67.9 and if I go over here uh, 
Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, 7167.9. There it is. There it is. And there it is. Um, it's very cool. I can actually grab the mouse and uh, move any of these that I choose. And uh, I can bounce this around here. You can tell I'm moving this here. And if we look up, there's my rating there, and there's my rating there, or my uh, frequency. Um, and again, if I choose to, I can go over to Ham Radio Deluxe, grab this, move it, and uh, it'll update. So 7433 out of band, obviously. But the whole point is, is that they all track. And uh, this is a very cool feature. So I can use my logging programs, my pan adapter, and HDR to control and uh, also uh, log programs or log uh, like a look contest and uh, use the utilize the pan adapter for uh, trying to hunt down um, uh, stations so that's it for the moment um, again uh, gotta go to this guy's website um, it's telepostinc.com t-e-l-e-p-o-s-t-i-n-c dot com or just look up lp-pan or lp-pan on uh, the internet and the, uh, the radios are, uh, there's a number of radios that actually integrate well with this software, including the K3 uh, by Elcraft, um, the Yaesu uh, FT2000, the 950, and uh, a, a number of others. Not every radio, but a number of them. And, uh, and that's about it. So, again, the cool thing really is, though, is that with this Power SDR software, I can get a lot of the filtering that um, the Flex Radio offers at a fraction of the cost. All right, 7-3s, talk to you soon. Bye.